guys, um, we are going to make another page and that is on the other side of this page. So I'm going to fold this a little straight. So we have a nice complete page where we can work on and um, let's see what we are going to make. Well, this page is pretty flat and not much... Um, on it for making photos or anything so the next page i will like it to make more um, doable flippable uh, so you can put a lot of pictures in so yeah let's see what we got oh before i forgot um, i was playing yesterday a little uh, with the dice and and um, i saw on on the example from the the die package that they can also be attached the, these two so I thought well I give it a shot and wow I was flabbergasted really look at this it's amazing how this turns out really I am really fun of this and I thought well if you can do this then you can do that also on yes on this so yeah and if you turn these then you have still two different ones so wow this is really cool so you can make this one and this one and then you can make the separate ones and you can make them uh, on each other plus you can like I told you before you can make a nice um, for pockets also so yeah this is really an awesome set really I can't say it enough really love it okay so that is what i'm going to use on this page these these dies well anyway that's the plan but you know you never know with me <laughs> um so yeah let's join me going along this page okay so see it more see what we we want to do first thing first thing i think i want to make a big pocket and from there on we can work further so let's grab a piece of paper and the first thing I like to do is make um, a full sheet um, stopping at the first fold line of course and I'll stay away just two millimeters so our hinge can move a lot so I'm going to stay two millimeters away from here and then I'm going to apply, well, let's say, let's give it a try at one inch open. That's about two and a half centimeters. So that I'm going to cut first. And then I'm going to make a hinge, of course. Fold it. And then I'm going to see first how I'm going to apply this white at this nice edge. And I make another fold line. And be sure that you are not overlapping this edge. It really needs to be inside. I'm going to score on that mark. And then we are going to cut it shorter. Oh, and I have to warn you, <laughs> it's, it's pretty early in the morning today and my son is free, so he is sleeping out. So if he wants to scare me, will be noticed, <laughs> then you will scare too. <laughs> he, he does that sometimes. Well, not sometimes, pretty often. I really, he really likes to boogeyman me. <laughs> okay, so that is what we have for the big pocket right here okay so shall we attach this already mm. 
I was saying to you that I was planning to use these nice cutouts. And perhaps it's nice to give this a nice um, thing to see. So perhaps it's nice to, let's say, I want this, well not on top, that's, that's not nice. But let's say that I want to make a nice eye catch on this pocket. So it still can, let's not glue it already down. If I want to make this on here, then I would use a nice um, color underneath that will pop it up. So let's say I'm going to use, oh, let's use this purple one. That should be nice. But how I'm going to apply this? Well, first of all, I'm going to cut this piece course in the white spot here and we can now with cut it out with this piece of course to the outline not the inline only on the out blah, 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 the outline so I'm just going to apply this and I'm just going to eyeball it I'm going to eyeball it right here so let's see. I'm going to cut this. And this, then this should be the right spot. Yep, it is. Okay, very nice with a nice white edge. So now I'm going to see what the middle is of, of this piece and then I'm going to cut this out. So perhaps it's nice to give it a nice little squeeze so now this is the middle just going to apply my die right here in the middle and I'm going to attach a little piece so it stays on here The little one. Okay, so it stays here. And then I'm going to see if this is nicely straight. So this needs to cut out. And I think it's pretty straight. Yeah, it is. So just in case, I'm going to apply just a little tape two on the outside and then I'm going to cut it okay let's cut this one and then Try it out. Okay, gentle peeling this off. Tape. Okay, that's that. Okay. And then of course I'm going to cut this piece and then we have that nice little edge. Perfect. Yay! Cool. This is really cool. Okay. So now I'm going to see where I want to cut this. And yeah, well this can be a little lower don't have to be exactly on that spot, it can be, but I want that edge, I like that edge. Okay, so I keep it low and then I want to cut it. Or a little lower, no I want, well, 
I'm just going to see. I'm going first going to cut it right here and then see if this is nice. And otherwise I can cut it lower. I cut it. I can cut this. Hmm. Well let me first cut it here. <laughs> Let's try it out. Okay, what do you think? I apply just not yet the pocket on just because I wanted to see how this turns out if I put this with a nice white edge and then this white on top. I think that looks amazing. What do you think? Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm satisfied. So I'm going to attach my pocket. My big pocket. I'm going to attach it. With my arch glitter glue, I love it. It dries so quickly. Okay, let's attach it. Oh, keep away two millimeters at least, so your hinge is nicely going to be forward and backwards. Okay, let's attach that glue to the papers. There you go. Okay, so now the big pocket is done. Uh, I'm going to put my decoration on. Give it a little smudge. From there on, we can work further. Okay, so oh, I see that the tape is still on a little. I want to peel it off. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to apply only this piece, of course. Keep that nice white edge in mind. That's that. Perfect. Then I'm going to apply this one. And again, this is really the time where I love this glue for this nice small nozzle. I don't know if that's the correct word, but I you can so easily glue nice detail things on. Here we go. Let's glue it on. Okay, so that is a very nice eye catcher. There you go, Gui. I hope you agree with me. Cool. Yeah, I love it. So this is a nice pocket. And um, yeah, cool. So from here on, so I want to, um, if you open this page, that you will see this for, so the next, uh, page we want to attach it right here not any overlapping that's a waste of this beauty okay so let's see what we have what paper do we have uh, nope uh, this is not fitting okay so I need a bigger one let's grab another one and we want now this size. So I'm going to see this piece making a mark and then we are going to cut it down.
Oh, and for those who want to know which kind of a um, cut cutting cutting machine I have, a paper trimmer, I use the Fiskars Precision. I really love that one. It had a second chance for me. <laughs> the first one did not cut at all nice. But this cars do have a very, very good um, service policy. And they just sent me a new one. Okay, so, and the new one did it perfectly. Still is. So yeah, I'm still very happy about my Fiskars precision. Anyway, you saw me what I was just doing. Oh, focus, focus. Uh, you saw me what I just did, making a hinge. And I want to apply this on this side first, I think. And well, we have still a nice flap. And I not always want to cut that down, so why not make a flippity flop on the out for this piece? So I'm just going to stay away one millimeter from this edge and then make another fold line because I don't want to waste this paper. Okay, and now I am first going to fold it once. Let's see how that goes. So let's see that I'm going to apply this right here. Then this um, goes here. And then if I flip it over, I have this piece too. So that is nice. But I know myself that I always like to make pockets. So if I want to make a pocket on here or here, then this will be very tight. So what if we make just a little expandable um, fold line? Oops. So I'm going to score. Just how much is that? One eight? Yeah, I think it's one eight. Let's fold it. And I know that's difficult, but we can manage. First doing the outside and then just going to bend all the way. And when that's done, we can apply it with our bone folder. Okay, so that is that just in case we need that space and I know myself we do need that space but I was thinking if I do this space of course we need this space too <gasps> oh <laughs> yes of course Diane what are you thinking okay so now the tricky part is if I want to make the 1 8 here then this one is going to be shorter as well or we can make it on here so it still fits nicely. What shall we do? Well, I think the hinge is large enough. So I think we can do that. Just going with the flow. Just, just making this page out of my hat. Just go with the flow and we are going to do the outsides and then see if I can fold this nicely all the way but this is tricky because it's a short piece on that hinge but I think I did it and yeah this is still enough for a hinge okay so yeah we make it expandable a little thicker so we have lots of place to play along in here that is what we want okay I like this 
Yeah, nice tick to pop out. Okay, let's apply this hinge. So attach a good glue on here. We don't want to waste this nice page. So apply this where it should be. up and burnish your glue down. Here we are. Okay. Nicely. It fits perfectly and still this is going to be not attaching to each other. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So we still have this completely space to work on. And we still have one space here, one space here, and this extra thing where we can make perhaps nice pockets on. So, yeah, love it. That is awesome. Okay, now first I'm going to see what I want to make on here because I want to make pockets. So let's see. Okay, um, I want to make a nice pocket on here using this. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> and I'm just going to, yeah, I know these hinges are going to be very small, but I'm going to manage that. So I'm going to make two hinges. Even on here. And perhaps I can be better when I'm keeping this straight. Okay, so fold it. And then we can attach these nice fancy pocket on here. Cool, this is amazing. Really nice. Here we are. And when we do the back, um, oh, close the pocket. When we do the back, um, I call that the, the, the covering up the back, then this will be gone away of course so your tags will go easily in and out I have no doubt about that that is not going to work that is going to work perfect okay so that is the first and really these are because we have so much nice tags and they will fit perfectly yay love it love it love it love it now on the other side we do have plenty of room to do that that's this side because of the expandable so yeah we can attach here um, we can I think we are going to do two pockets on here because if you do one, you still have a nice pocket on here. So why not make two pockets? So yeah, I'm going to do that because we have so much nice things to put in. Small, big ones. We, we, we do have on this set so much nice things to put in. So yeah, why not you make pockets so we can use all these nice tags. Okay. So let's grab another mm, leftover piece. Well, oh, this is one. Um, these are also my leftovers. We do not need pretty deep ones, but 
this size I really like but then I need two so perhaps it's better than I that I use one full so can, I can make two of these yeah I think we can manage that so I am going to what shall I do yeah I still want to make two pockets mm -mm 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 -mm. what height shall we make then Well, let's measure that. We can measure that. Hey, Diane, go measure something. Blah, 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 blah. I hate measurement. No, you don't. Okay, so we want definitely one inch to be open so we can put a nice thing in the top pocket. So if we are looking at this, well, let's say seven and a half min minus that one inch. So that's six and a half. So split six and a half in two. That is three one fourth. So three one fourth pockets. Let's make a three. Yeah. Okay. I decided to make a three inch pocket. And for the centimeter, guys, that is let's say seven and a half. You can use seven of a half or eight centimeters, so that is good. But you can measure that on your own. Yes, you can. Okay, let's say if I fold this in half, then I still have plenty of room. Yes. Okay. So let's do that. Split this in half and let's make two hinges. To make this pocket it's easy it's so easy gosh I'm really excited about this page I am I am I am I am okay I'll grab my pencil and See how far this goes. Now stay away, two millimeters away from this first fold line. And let's oops, 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 oops. Let's score. And well, perhaps I can measure. So I have two exactly the same ones. Well, this not fit perfectly. Oh, this it is. So I'm going to score at 118. So I bet this should be exactly the same. Check, 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 check. Yep. Yes! We did it! Oh, cut this a little shorter. Doing it real quick with our scissors does not have to be that straight because you don't see that let's fold it okay so now I'm going to attach these and you can if you want you can make this uh, more fancy with um, an, in, an in you can cut this a little but I want to keep this straight because this one is already fancy. So that is why I do not like another fancy pocket. This is going to be just two nice, simple pockets. Okay, now first apply the first one. Nice on that edge. Use your bone folder to make sure your glue, glue is everywhere. There we go. So now is the option. You want to keep it like this or you want another, um, another pocket. And what shall we do about the height? Is there anything that we want to go in here that will fit? 
well, let's say this is a small piece and so then it definitely needs to go here and these other ones let's grab this piece is this a smaller one? yeah this is a smaller one so I, if I use this size then I can apply it right here just making a little a little um, handy so I know for sure that I will not glue this too high so we have nothing to put in and of course you can make tags of your own uh, to fit but why not measure it a little so you know for sure that any tags of the collection will fit in there too if that makes sense to you all <laughs> hope it does so anyway now we have two pockets and this will fit yep it will fit perfectly even these smaller ones fit perfectly and well let's say we have plenty of space for these larger tags okay so that was the idea of these pockets we have so much going on okay so that is for the two pockets pocket and then I will uh, decorate this inside for uh, photo mats so you can place a lot of photos on but we are still not done no 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 we still can do lots of things on top of here so let me think for a second what I want more on top of this piece okay give me one sec I was just thinking before I go to the top uh, why not put another page on here too um, we, we do have a lot of place and I do already put the magnets on which I should not have done that but I just want to make an extra page so I like to do that so and it does not have to be exactly the same size so why not use a leftover piece so yeah I'm just going to make another hinge and keep in mind my son is awake I hear him in the next room Hi, hi, good morning. Hey, no. <laughs> okay, so I want to attach this on here, and I'm not going to make any other pockets out of this, so I'm going to just apply. Thank you forgetting something <laughs> I'm just going to apply right here and I want to stay 2-3 millimeters away from this side or perhaps well let's first start cutting this piece down I was thinking perhaps it would be nice if um, this edge and this edge and then the same size here so that is a possibility do not know well no it's not neat so I'm just going to apply this right here there we go and he left the door open I will close that in a second otherwise all the noise downstairs you will hear upstairs here yeah, so. um, Keep in mind that we need that space on the left side, so make sure that this will fit nicely. Okay, and now we can apply that magnet 
to stay at all in its place. Okay, put it on. Make some place these big pages. And now I hope I stay in frame, but I think I do. Push. Oh yeah, just. <laughs> That's enough. Just I will satisfy it with. Yeah, I really like this. Um, so we have, oh that's my tape that's under here. Let's see if I can. Yep, here we are. If I can skip it. Yep, here we are. Okay, so yeah, I really like this. I like this more than just one opening space because we have the space we have make it expandable so why not use that okay good one two perfect now we go on top <laughs> okay what i have in mind on top um making a opening to the left and the right in the middle and then make this as a closure i think that's a nice eye catch so what we are going to need is we're going to cut this at the same size and I already did that then make a flippity flop like so there we are then we first want to make this the middle and oh, let's see what's what's the middle okay mm, this is the middle right here and then we can measure this right here too so we can cut this And then we are going to make another one, of course. So again, we are going to fold it. Finish it down. And then, well, that's my just my technique. <laughs> I am first going to glue the first one down and that is just to make sure you have it perfectly so first I'm going to apply the first one right on top like so nicely all the way around to do is see where the other ones will go and then make the measurement exactly along the other path and now before I am going to apply this I am not going to be a side here. No, I'm right going to put this against the other one. So this is really nice fitting. And then I'm pushing this down. Okay, that is that. So that is how I make it perfect. <laughs> In the scrap queen way. <laughs> Really, I am terrible with measurements. I really hate that. So I will always use that as less as possible. <laughs> okay, so let's make. Um, yeah, and then I want this as a closure. So I want to put a magnet um, on which side? I think on this side. So this will go right here because this is longer. So yeah, I want to put a magnet on here and then I'm going to apply it on a nice white piece. 
So on this side. Okay, so now I'm going to apply this on a white piece of cardstock and then I just cutting it out. Say, put some glue on and I will save this for you. I will cut this in my own time and not in your <laughs> time. But I'm first gluing this down and then I'm just going to cut it out. So I'll be back in one sec. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, so now of course, before we're going to attach this, we need to at least be on one side design paper. So I will do that in a later stage. So I will put first design paper on the left side, then glue this down, and then make sure that your magnet is on the right spot, and then you can put some design paper on this piece. But I will do that in a later stage. So for now, I will keep it like this. So this will be the end of the mountain, <laughs> of this pile. Um, but we still can have this on the inside with two nice pockets and then an eye catch photo mat layout on the inside. So yeah, I think the last thing I want to do on this page is make two pockets out of this. And I think I will make it in a little angle. I really like that. So yeah, let's see how we can do that. Um, let's see what leftovers I have. What can we use? Oh, I think we can use this. Mm. But if I need it double, then it don't fit. So yeah, that is always my trouble. I always want to use um, two exactly the same things right away. So I want to use, yeah, I just want to go, I'm just going to use this piece. So I'm going to split this in half, scrap queen way. I'm first going to apply a hinge. So I'm first going to make it fit and then I decide what size I, what shape, I was going to say, what shape I like. Um, that it will have. So stay away at least two millimeters away from that edge and then make a hinge again, cut it, fold it. Okay, that's that. Then I will do exactly the same thing on the other side. Again, stay at least two millimeter on this fold line, otherwise it will not bend nice. Okay, make a fold line, cut it. Here we go. Okay, so now the two pockets are been born, but I want to make a nice shape out of it. So. What do you think? What shall we, because this is boring. Yes, it is, it's boring. So let's say we make it as a file folder kind of thing, how you call that, where you can put some magazines in. I really like that. So let's put this away for just a moment. And well, let's just see how that goes. So I want this to be, well, it could be a little like this, it's about one inch, about, I'm just using my little ruler right now, and I do not want it too, too, uh, too tight here, so let's make it 
five. That's about two uh, inches, and, and it does not have to be exact, but. And then I'm going to cut it, just following my pencil mark, cut it out, and that's that. So I'm just going to do the opposite way on this, so exactly the same, three and five. Well, now I'm, hmm, I'm pointing my centimeters, but I did mention earlier the inches, but you have to see what's good for you. What you like. I like this. Just to give it a little extra funk to the pockets. Yeah, cool. Okay, where is my page? And then this goes right in here. Perfect. Yeah, I like that. So glue it in and then I think it's time to put some design paper on I like that stage as close as you can to the edge so you have that two millimeters away to this pocket don't forget the bottom otherwise you don't have a pocket of course and glue it on start at the edges and then you have that opening for your on this side okay that should do it I like it yep I really like it you do not you do not see it right now but I like 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 it it should be great when I put some design paper on okay so that is for for now yeah, time to put some design paper on because this this page is fat enough, do you think? A really nice fat. Um, yeah, and then here of course a nice big tag for your photo mat or a booklet, but I don't want it to make too thick because I did not make it expandable. So I think a tag is good enough. Um, so yeah, let's grab some nice papers. Okay, so far, well, it took me a while, but um, so far I decorated the front of this pocket, of this um, front page. <laughs> and uh, that opens up with a magnetic. And then inside here is the pockets, which I created first with the leftovers. I want to show you a real close look. Always like to use my leftovers first put some tags in and these are um, from the front of the um, paper collection this also I always like to use everything and then inside I just make a photo layout with the same color as this piece and then this closes up like this and then on the back I put some um, design paper on and for now I did, do not decorate this yet I always like to keep that for the last so I definitely know how much I am going to need for it. So I put some um, um, a photo mat inside, but I will keep that for later. So that is what I did right now. But we need to go inside first to go further. But I always like to do first the front, and yeah, it, it needs some decoration. But I, like I said, I always do that later on. So yeah. Um, Still lots to do, so stay tuned. Hmm. Okay, a trillion minutes later. <laughs> um, so what I did, well I always already showed you the inside of this page, but 
I did the inside and um, I really love how it turns out. Um, so I mix it up again with the, uh, the color cardstock and in here it's, it's, it's that. Wow, I really love this envelope. Uh, that is not an envelope, it's, it's a fancy pocket. So yeah, lots of place to put something in here. And then when you flip this to the left, we have these two simple pockets. And this is a cutout from the pages. And you can make an envelope out of it. So you can glue this down. So you have an envelope. But if you don't like that, you also can use this as a, 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 a letter. So you can cut this off. So I did not cut it. Um, I just cut it out because I did not decide what exactly to do with it. I smooched it around so it's already perfect. And um, so yeah, you can do anything with it, whatever you're going to like. Perhaps you want to close this letter. Well, it, it, it's just an option, just an option, because I just want to give the person who gets this, get an option. Okay, and then we have the top pocket. Uh, we made, um, not we made, uh, cut out two little tags that fits perfectly on top here and then the middle pages I um, use these two colors so it matches along I glue, cut out this piece out of paper but I did not glue it all all down so you still can use this as a tuck spot or um, or putting your photo underneath here and write something down in here so I kept that open and then on this side yeah, I really love this image so I can't resist uh, use that image on here and then you skip this open and then here is a nice big photo mat I put some little um, made me laugh today couldn't stop thinking about so yeah it's a nice way to put a photo in here and then on this piece I really use my leftovers uh, but I uh, glued not perfectly well I left this uh, open so you can still use it as a tuck spot. But you can use it like this or you can use this as a tuck spot. So I will keep this in here for now so the person who gets this knows there is a tuck spot. Okay, so yeah, I can do that exactly the same with this piece if you like. Let's say, let's put this right here. So the person who gets this knows there is a tuck spot. Okay, so what do you think? I really like this page. So yeah, that is that. Oh, and uh, for now, just for now, I already uh, used the front cover background. Well, not the background, the front cover. There is uh, a tin piece over here and there is a uh, saying it's from Stamperia. But I covered it up with this, ba um, this, this, this tag so you can... So the person who gets this can write something on there. So that's just to see how it looks right along if you open this up. So okay, so yeah, this page was really flat. Not much going on. And this one, I made it up. <laughs> okay, so up to the next page. Hey guys, welcome back. Let's start with the next page. And so grabbing a new piece of sheet, 12 by 12, and I'm going to... Cut at 10.38, that's the set, well 10.38, yeah, 10.38, that's here, same as the other base page, nothing new, just doing it together with you, and well, I think I am going to, um, yeah, I think I am going to use that flap again, so I am not going to cut it. I first going to cut at 5, 8 and at 1, 1, 8. Keep it straight and at 1, 1, 8. Okay, so that is the base and then I'm going to score it and then it's totally option for you. You're gonna, you can cut it. Or you can score it, but again I'm going to score at 7, 3, 4. And like I said, um, this is the base on all the pages. Well, this one is with the flap, so you can choose with flap or without a flap. But the base is still the same. Nothing changed anything. So this is 
pure for all pages for those who uh, stepped in late but I don't think so so okay so we'll use that flap so I'm going to cut this piece off we don't need that Alrighty, so yeah, now we can decide do we want it on display or we even can use this flap for the top. That's also a possibility. Um, but then we go to the, yeah, let's, let's, let's go crazy. Let's use this for the top. But then it's the second page we are going to do. Because I want this going this way. Yeah. Okay. That is perfect. Already. Okay. So my hinge is going that direction. So the first thing we need to know do is use this page the base the base one because and then when we flip this around so we go to the second page on the back we are going to use this flap up so for, for now first we're going to start with the base okay so let's see what we are going to do with this one let's think a minute okay oh <laughs> Let's turn that voice of my phone off, otherwise you get crazy. Okay, turn it off. What we are going to do, we're going to make a flip to the left and to the right. So get your scoreboard or shall we, well, wait, just a second. Let's cut it first in the right size of course so I'm just going to measure this piece of paper and all I need to so I'm going to cut them at the same time saves time I think <laughs> I hope especially save times for you guys okay so now I'm going to make a flippity flop go like that fold it and then we're going to see where we want this what shall we do all the way or with a little strip you know I like strips you know I do <sighs> oh okay yeah, let's make a strip. I like strips. So I want to be a half inch away from that edge. And that should be right here. Go away. Just eyeball it a little. So yeah, I'm going to make a little mark. Just a little. Oh. And then. Um, yeah, wait, wait, wait. We can just measure this and then cut it in the right size. So what shall we do? What shall we do? Well, this is nine one four. So let's say this is nine one eight, and then cut one inch less. So that is eight one eight. So I'm going to cut that. So you can measure your size, but I'm going to cut it at eight one eight, and that should be perfect. Yeah, with that small edge which I love okay let's glue it on let's make some pages okay I'm just going to eyeball it a little but I already have my mark here below so I'm just going to keep an eye on that keeping the page straight of course, very, very good. Burnish your glue. 
down so it won't get anywhere. Okay. Okay, so that is that. And now for the second one, first I'm going to make a hinge. And now the second one, I really want that this fits perfectly. So I'm just tuck that, on, stuck that. How you call that? Tuck, tuck, tuck it in. Yeah, tuck that in. And then I'm going to make a mark, and I just leave two millimeters away. So that is how I'm going to measure that. Cut it. And then this should be fitting perfectly, leaving this uh, piece, this one inch away, and then this will fit perfect. Use well, it could be just, 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 just a little, just to be sure. I don't want to get this page in the way. Yeah, that's better. That's way better. So let's glue this on. I'm just going to eyeball this so it won't get in the way. Great, but I also don't want to come underneath this page, so that is perfect. Yep, here we go. Alright, so that is that. Okay, that was step one. Just making a left and a right page. How easy is that? Piece of cake. So we have plenty of space for photos underneath this top page. Okay, what else? What else? What else can we do? Okay. Um, I'll just think one second. <laughs> okay, let's see. I really want to use these more on this. But for the measurements, that, that's, that's a little tricky. But it's so easy. Then I kept this away for just a second. And I grab another piece of white. And yeah, this is a single one. And um, let's cut this first in the same size. Just going to see how that all works out. So I'm going to cut it. There we go. Can't talk with the pencil in my mouth. Okay, so let's score first that hinge. Okay, now this can go away for just a moment. Where is my hinge? Here it is. Okay, let's fold it. That's that. That's the base. Well, not no, not cool. Anyway, <laughs> um, I really like those pockets with these nice big uh, fancy die cut thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, a few more hinges, same as on the other page because I love that one. So not too wide. Just small ones. We don't need completely a full half inch. I'm just going to score that. What is this? Is one eight? Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? One, two, three. Or one fourth. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm still not very used to inches but I'm doing my best but anyway you can see how much I score this 
you know you do not need always a completely half inch okay we really like this cool now I don't know if these are all the same I'm guessing well pretty much but for just to be in case just to be sure I am going to apply a little mark well I think they are should, should not be too much difference so let's apply this is straight I really want to keep it straight 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 okay let's go for it Two is enough. Two same ones. What do you think? Let's grab the page with it. So what do you think? Well, this fits perfectly. Two right above each other. Yeah, why not? So I'm going to glue these down. First one. Don't forget the bottom. Otherwise, of course, you don't have a pocket. Glue it down. Okay, and now the second one. Yeah, I think I will just leave it. Yeah, why not? Or lower. Nah. Lower? Hmm. No, I don't want that. Or do I need that? Well, otherwise it should be very, very low. If it will fit in here. No, oh, no, no. We still have smaller tags. No, nope, I'm just going to attach these nicely above each other. Okay. Just above each other. That is good. Did I put some glue on the bottom? I hope I did. Or did I forget that? No, I did not forget. <laughs> anyway, so this is cool. This is pretty nice two pockets and now I am going to grab my page back always check if you are the good size and now what shall we do another border nah no 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 not another border because then the page is still keeping smaller and smaller and I don't want that no just nicely above this piece and I don't know if this is exactly the same spot. I don't think so. So I will have to cheat a little. So I will leave an extra border on it before I cut it. Yes, I do. So then this can flip to the left for extra and then we have still on the white some yeah okay so okay so if let me first say, well it's it's really close but I do have to cheat a little so I'm going to cut this and yeah it, it's just a little so see if I can work that out but anyway so now this is done and now we can apply this right here Nicely on that other page, exactly the same spot, just 
to it as you can. There we go. Burnish it down, flip it open, and burnish it more. Okay, cool. So yeah, an extra place for photos. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so now I want something on this um, this side. But then um, let's say one, two pages. Well, this can flip open. So what do you think? What shall we? I think I want to make another flippity flop. Really, this is really go with the flow, guys. <laughs> Not go with the float, go with the flow. Yeah, that I, I, I did say. That. I did mention that. Yes, 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 I did. Did I? Yes, I did. I did not put a T after it. I thought I was, but I wasn't. What about gluing an extra page on here? Well, of course, this is not exactly the good size of it. But, yeah, let's do that. Why not? Let's go. I think I'm going to use this, this complete page. Why not? Go crazy. Glue it on. Glue it on, guys. Nice, flippable pages where we can put loads of paper on. And I must say, um, this page, I start with a new paper pack. So the second paper pack from Stamperia, Stamperia, don't forget. So one paper pad is being used. So now is the second one coming on board. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, perfect. Yep, yep, and then on here I can do make a nice flippable pocket or something like that. Very nice to make here something small. What do you think? Or is this enough? What do you think? Is that enough? And then this goes all back in, and then yeah, this is enough. Girl, 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 you need to stop. Stop, stop, stop. Well, perhaps a nice, nice one here. We need a nice closure for this one that keeps it all together. But this one also needs to be, but this we can do with a magnet. Yeah, let's put first a magnet on before I forget it. I don't want to forget it. Yeah, 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 just peel it off, girl, peel it off, and yeah, do it nicely in the middle, use my Fiskar scissor, that is not sticky to my tape, perfect, perfect match, really. The scissors are my favorite ones. The, 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 middle, the middle Tim Holtz and a nice Fiskars non-stick. But I believe Tim Holtz has also non-sticks, but I don't have them. Anyway. Peel it off. Oops. Yep. And... Okay, so that is the magnetic closure. That is that, and I really want something for here, a natural uh, closure. Well, not natural, but something. But I really have to think a minute what kind of closure I want for this. Oh, this is boring. I don't want to cover up these nice pockets. So let me think again for a second. <laughs> 
Okay, I think I want this for a closure, but then not with a magnet. I want to tuck something underneath here. Well, I am a white handed, so it was easier to do it on the other side, but I really want to use this. Or this piece, that's really no, no big deal. Take this one. So, yeah, what do you think? And then put something in here, and here you can make a nice embellishment. So yeah, I think I will love that. So we need um, something that wraps around it. I will save it. it. Does not have to be too tight, but we want to have to stay in place. So this is perfect. Just applying some glue. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. That's only a little frustration, but I love the glue. No, no, no. Yep. Here we go. Okay. So that is that. Okay, so what we are going to do is I'm just going to glue this down, just going to eyeball it in the middle and see how far this can go and that is about here so then I know how wide my glue needs to go. Yep. So, like I said, I'm just going to eyeball the middle. Doesn't have to be exactly, but just trying. I'll do my best. Oh, that's pretty much the middle. Pretty much that will do for me. Okay. So, that is the plan. And then this should be applying right here or here, so it gets under. I really don't know exactly, but we'll see about that later, in a later stage. Or a smaller one, but anyway, we have the size. The size. The good size. Okay. Alright, well done. I think it's time to... Um, to um, put some decoration on. What do you think? Gosh, that's plenty. So much space to be decorative. Yay! Yeah, it's actually pretty simple. Gosh. Gosh, Diane, didn't you get any more nice things about it? I really like on this piece something more fancy. I really want to use this this piece otherwise I do not know what I'm going to do with it. So I am gluing this down I think. What do you think? Well I will see in a minute. I will see do, doing that. I will think of something. Okay, so yeah, let's do some decoration and I'll be back in a second. Okay, put my needle back in. Alright, back in a minute. Alright, first explaining. Um, so I started again the top um, using a dark color to really pop out uh, this, this nice dye. Putting some uh, tags in it. Okay, that covers up the dye, but anyway, uh, you get the point. Um, then I covered up this piece with um, some pink lace. I covered up a nice bow on here that gives a nice feminine uh, 
detail. <laughs> then I use the pink cardstock for the strips on the side and then this dark one I wanted to come back. And for this I will leave it white now because um, the meaning is that I will decorate some nice uh, things uh, with flowers and, and uh, straws, stones. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I will decorate later. So if I will, I will cut this shorter later on so to see uh, if I put this here then I can put some nice flowers on or up. And then I still can uh, leave this in and out. So that is the meaning. So, but I will leave it white now for for how it is. So okay. So yeah, let's continuing the big pieces. Well, that's no need of extra um, um, extra details. But I really like doing that. So um, yeah, back in one sec. <laughs>
Okay, before I go to the next page, just real quick, top, and then this flips open, and then this flips open also, and then we have this page here, and this I will leave right now open, uh, because I sometimes I really want to use the leftovers with some, um, and I already cut these all by 3x3 three three centimeters. I always like to have a little funky um, patchwork layouts. So I want to keep this um, for later to cover that up with leftovers. So that is for now this page. So now we are going to turn it over. And let's see what we can make on this page. Okay, stay tuned. <music> 